What is going on everybody? It's Alex back with another video. So we're back in Forza Horizon 3 doing what you guys love. YouTubers builds. You guys seem to love all these videos and this is one that you guys have been asking for a lot. This is one that I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm super excited about Adam LZ's 240. So it's a beautiful car. If you guys don't know, I'm actually a huge fan of Adam LZ. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. And he has a really cool car and I think this will make for a really cool video because what I want to do is I want to build the car as close as I can um, to his actual 240 and since it is his actual drift build in real life we're gonna turn into a drift car and see how we can do so without further ado let's get into the build alright guys I have a little bit of a confession to make so I've been working on this car for quite a while a lot of trial and error and I haven't been able to get anything to really work with the power that he has in real life 310 horsepower is not enough to make a quality drift car in this game so basically what I did is I gave up on attempting to make it like his and I just downloaded the tune online so this tune is a five star rating I've messed around with it just a little bit it's really good um so I had the tune on and everything so you're not gonna see the build but it's not that big of a deal I know there's a lot of videos already where people have built this car so um, you're not really missing out on too much, but I can go ahead and work on the designs and paint. Alright guys, so we are in the paint shop. We are going to look for the color, so it's kind of a cream-ish. So maybe I'm thinking if we start like at something kind of close. This is like very yellow, but maybe if we over here, uh... A little more, ooh, that may be the wrong way. Yeah, I think it's more towards like the orange. Here we go, we're getting close now. Farther over here. And somewhere around there. I think that's fairly accurate. I think that's pretty spot on. I wish we could get the headlights up. Then all the pictures I see he has his headlights up, and I think that it gives it a completely different look. So we're going to go over with that. I think it should be good there. So the hood is going to be the same color. Not going to worry about that. And this is black. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, no spoilers. So his rims are kind of like a... Alright, we're just going to go... Um... Not quite black, but like... A dark gray. Something like that. So that looks really good. And then we're going to tint the windows. So that should be the paint. That looks pretty spot on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna worry about the decals now. Okay, so I had a little bit of a brain fart. I was so excited, I was looking up all the decals and stuff that he had, the LZ BMX on the back, and then the whatever, something that's not English racing on the front. And then it occurred to me that you can't actually put decals on glass, which to me is the stupidest thing, but Whatever, I would like to see maybe an update where you can actually do that because that's where a lot of decals are on most cars. So I'm not sure exactly why they don't allow you to do that. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the build for the car. Let's go see how it drifts. All right, guys, so we're about to head over to my favorite drift zone. This is the double hairpin drift zone. And to get a little feel for the car, what I want to do is kind of mess around drift on the way to the actual event. All right. So I have played around with this a little bit and it has quite a bit of horsepower. I think 760 something I believe. It's way more than 310 that Adam LZ has in real life. But again, in the game you are you have to have significantly more horsepower than he has in real life. In real life it really doesn't take that much power to get your car sliding but if you're playing a video game you have to. You have to have a lot of power. So. Like I said, we have a lot of power. Unrealistic, but it's okay. It's a game. We're not trying to build his exact car. Oh god. Yeah, we're not trying to build his exact car. We're just trying to build something that looks like his car and then have some fun with it. So, obviously... Oh, I almost lost it there. Um, 240s are known for being great... Dr oh, I did lose it there. 240s are known for being dr great drift cars. I can't speak. 240s are known for being great drift cars, and this is a good tune. It feels pretty solid. It's pretty controllable, pretty manageable, pretty predictable, which is what I care about. Sometimes you get these drift cars, and you know they'll have their moments. They'll handle certain situations very well, but they will completely destroy you on... Okay. They'll completely destroy you with um, certain situations if you throw at it. So I'm excited 
that this car actually feels good in different situations. That's kind of cool. We have about two miles to go, and then we will be arriving at the drift zone. All right, guys, we arrived at the drift zone, so I'm curious to see what is three stars? 60,000 points. That sounds pretty doable. So we're going to see how easy it is to actually get 60,000 points. I'm a very average drifter. I'm not great by any means. As you can see, my personal best is only 72,000. I'm sure that's not insane. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done a lot more than that. But I want to see if we can get three stars with this car. Maybe we can get a first try. Who knows? Let's see what we can do. So acceleration is kind of crazy. There is a lot of turbo lag and everything, but it's all good. Okay. Not exactly the best entry. On clutch. Okay. Yeah, this is probably not our run. This I'm trying to get used to it on here. We are not gonna get to 60,000, that's for sure. That's okay. We're gonna get more comfortable with it, and we're gonna get our score up as time goes. Clutch work. Okay, so the gearing ratio in the clutch is a little weird on this one. As you can see, the first run, you know, trying to get used to this course and everything, not exactly the best. Let's set up for a second run, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. So although while you're moving, while you don't really have a course, this car is super easy, you do have to really, really, really focus on keeping the RPMs a little higher than usual, higher than what I'm used to at least. So that's something I need to keep in mind. So here we go on our second run. I really, going through the corners, I have to really focus on keeping the RPMs up. Okay. Probably could have taken that a little quicker, but... See, we're already. There we go. There we go. Keep it, keep it, keep it. See, this is so much better. We're already at 40,000. If we can keep this up, we should get gold or three stars. Nope, see, we're already... See, there you go. Oh, keep it, keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it on the road. There we go, two tries, and I just crushed my personal best. We easily, easily, easily got three stars. Which makes me wonder, is it actually that good of a car, or is it pretty set up? So I want to bring it to one more track. Let's see what we can do in a different drift zone. Alright guys, as you can see, we are at the hillside drift zone, so I have one star on this one. I haven't done this in a long time. I'm very familiar with this actual course because I've done the Goliath racetrack a lot and you run right through this, so I'm very familiar with it, but I don't actually think I've ever really attempted to do it, so I, as you can see, I've hit 15,000 points. I actually have 44,000 points, so I'm almost at two stars. But I think today we really need to go for that 80,000 points because I want three stars. So let's get it. Let's see how it is. But I haven't actually attempted it yet. I drove up and made sure I knew exactly which one it was. But I haven't actually attempted it yet. So I don't really know how fast I need to be going. Looks like there's a few cars that are going to be in my way. Okay, I probably should have been going a little bit faster than that. Or a lot. Hold it, hold it. Ooh. Okay, we're going to take a restart on that one. Okay, so this time we know we need to go a little bit faster. I don't think we're going to have as many cars in our way. So this should be a little better. I may need to even go faster than that. Uh, no, this is good. This is good. Yeah, that was almost a little too fast. So there's 50,000. Oh no, we lost it. That was so beautiful. We were definitely on track for the three stars on that one. I... That oversteer, it got me a little bit. We may even be able to get 100,000 on this one. Okay, we're going to go for a take three. Okay, guys, take three. On our second run, we actually did pretty well. We were definitely... We could have just finished the run and gotten three stars without a doubt. But I really, I want a clean run. Clean it up, clean it up. Okay. We definitely could have done better there, but it's all good. Manage the oversteer. Okay. Dropping down. Okay, that wasn't exactly the cleanest way to go, but we got a hold of it. Oh, I got to make up some points. I got to make up some points. Can we do it? It's going to be close. Oh, there we go. We got three stars. Easy, easy, easy. We almost broke 100,000. So, again, I'm, these aren't record breakers or anything. This is just, that took me three tries. Um, again, I'm not an excellent drifter. I feel like I, I can hold my own, though. Um, so, there you have it. We built... Actually, I did not build, but I painted a custom-built Adam LZ 240. 
and then we took it for some drifting runs and everything. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Anybody else you want to see? I know a lot of people want to see Phase Rug. I still have, um, I want to do Salamandrin's Pagani Waira. Um, there's a few more on the list, but any, any ideas that you guys have, make sure to leave that in the comments down below. And I'll catch you in that next one. Peace out, guys. Oh, 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 oh,